You are watching footage obtained from a saltwater sportsman expedition. Welcome to another video. We are going deep into blue water. And that's what I want you to see is the blue water. This is characteristic of when you get 100 miles out. No filter necessary. This is what the water looks like that far out. And you can see around this oil rig are predatory fish. And when they're this thick, those predatory fish can scare the targeted species like grouper, snapper, there goes one really close to the camera. Other tasty fish will kind of hide. These shark are very curious. They will constantly get closer to the go fish cam. They'll bump it, they'll jar it with their teeth, but it is interesting to see how many we have. There's the school close to the structure. There comes some shark really close. And listen, I have no idea what type of shark these are. All I know is I don't want to dive or fall into the water with these shark. There's no bait on this camera. It's just the go fish cam. There's a little bar jack in the amberjack family. Could even be a baby amberjack. There goes a bump. More shark. There we go, looking at more of the structure. And this is slowed down to half speed so we can get a good picture and get the fish in frame so we can see them and get some pauses. And they just nonchalantly just get in the water and move. We fished this location. This is the only time I did drop on a oil platform. I don't know what those are. I'm just gonna admit I don't know a lot of the species of fish that we're gonna see here. But these fish are staying in close to there's a suspended, you can see it right there, a suspended, come on, get closer. What do you think that is? It is a barracuda, suspended. It's amazing how they just float. There's two of them, one right there to the left, one underneath it, and they're looking for something to sneak out and speed attack. But we did fish this and we did catch a barracuda and we did catch a dusky shark, I caught a dusky shark. Other videos from the creators of this Saltwater Sportsman Expedition will be dropped soon. I will leave a link in the description of all the creators that were on this expedition for you to watch and to see the epic fishing trip that we all were on. Don't know what that is. If you know what these fish are, please help me out. Leave a description of what those fish are that you see in the frame. There's some of the structure of the old platform. It's about a hundred miles out really really deep I don't remember how deep it was 700 feet in some places but one thing is amazing about these oil platforms it is so good for the fishery they attract so much fish help supply food to commercial fishermen to sell at the fish market really thankful for these oil platforms and gas platforms you can see how the shark are really on the outside of these fish. And if one were to get out of the school, then that little shark right there would probably devour it. They're bumping my camera. They're getting close. And I'm literally just dropping this camera in and out of the water. Here's some more schooling fish. Again, if you know what those fish are, I know when I see a bar jack, some folks were calling these chubs. I don't know. They look kind of like tilapia, which I know they're not, but I have zero experience deep sea fishing 100 miles out. So I have no idea what I'm looking at most of the time. But this trip was a huge learning curve for me. Good shot of a barracuda. Those fish are so beautiful in the water. 
Here comes something, another bar jack. There's your shark. If you know the species of shark that you see, make a list, post in the description. I honestly admit, I don't know my shark species very well. Here he comes, look at that, close shot. Curious shark, a lot of them. They're not afraid of that camera. I was tempted to put hooks on it, but I didn't want to lose the camera. And I don't know what those species are. They kind of look like mahi, but they're not. Uh, yellowtail, maybe? Again, leave a comment in the description of the fish that you see. Help build the content of this footage in the comments below. You'll do me a huge help. There is another one of those fish. Don't know what it is. Sorry, guys. But I just know there are tons of species of fish. These kind of aren't as scared to be around the shark as the littler fish. But there are schools and schools of this narrow fish. Uh, we thought it was mahi. I know it's not. There's another close-up of that fish swimming in front of the shark. Hope he escapes. He does. They bumped the camera multiple times. These fish really aren't that aggressive. Attacking my camera, again, it does no flavor or scent. There's a bar jack getting close to the camera. Here goes a fin really close to the camera. Another shark. I did catch a dusky shark in this location, and it's Interesting to see that the fish that we see on camera are the fish that we caught. Uh, I wish I would have dropped this in other places, but this is the only location that I would drop the Go Fish Cam. Great shot of a Cuda. Wow, that was so close. There he is again, looking right at that camera. Just a beautiful array of shark fish, predatory fish that just Man, I could watch these things all day. I hope you enjoy these videos. I'm going to be putting out more and more underwater footage and trying to diversify by going out deeper into the ocean and also inshore locations that we can just see these fish, learn from them, and really just be thankful for what we see in the ocean. The blue hue is just second to none. I've never seen water this color before at all. Here we go, another closer drop to the actual oil rig. Again, just teeming with life. And I'm sure the grouper, maybe even the snapper, are going to be down deeper in the ocean. This is probably a max distance of my camera from the boat into the water of about 30 to 50 feet. And again, this is as far as 700 feet. So we are probably missing some species that live way down in the ocean. There's another cuda just suspended. At least I think it's a cuda. But the beauty of the ocean, man, I thank God for it every time. Another shark, few shark coming into frame. There's one that was really close. There's one that's got a hook in its mouth. That's uh, pretty cool. Some fishermen got broke off by a shark. Again, you probably don't want to handle those on a boat when you can't get a good grip on them to get that hook out. Shark and more shark in the ocean. 